right y'all i'm at the Arms channel okay so today we're checking out something that a lot of y'all were sending my way so this is an international team over in ukraine and i gotta say kind of clicking through it these guys um, look like they're freaking in the thick of it. So this is from the Butasov Plus YouTube channel. We already know he does some great stuff, some great coverage of the Ukraine war. Um, so this is particularly titled, Americans, Canadians, and Ukrainians destroyed 22 Russians within their defense point. Now, again, just kind of like from the get-go, you can see this is definitely like um, an inter international force as far as like the equipment they're rocking with, the tactics, the communication, just kind of clicking through it. That's kind of what I've seen so far. But um, yeah, these guys are definitely in the thick of it in this particular video. So it's about 26 minutes long. I try not to pause it too much. Um, but again, being like an international force, I'm probably going to be picking up on a lot of the sort of tactics that I was taught in the Marine Corps and the Army Infantry. So should be an interesting one. Let's check it out. All right, so we got some fucking hell. Humvees. Sounded like a Brit right there. Oh Got shit. Oh. oh my. Dude, no way. What the fuck? What the fuck? Drop. Fuck. What an intro, man. It's the best of shist. It's the most jostoki shabi. Zabudi ko pozicji, ko mu bachove. Вона є панівною, одною з панівних висот в смузі нашої бригади. І противник зосередив дуже багато засобів для того, щоб її втримати. Damn, interesting rifle setup. He's got an ACOG on it as well. And pretty nice looking kit. So I'm not sure if this guy is also, he's probably also kind of in the international force. Generally, it's not just like all kind of Americans, Canadians, and Brits. You'll have like some Ukrainians thrown in as well. It's kind of help facilitate everything. Я думаю, що дана позиція війде в історію як зразкова зразковий штурм, який виконаний на характері, на натиску на противника. Yeah, we generally see a lot of Humvees with these international forces, probably just kind of like what they're used to and stuff as well, but fine. Shoot you. Oh, so like, they're picking out the mines as well. Dude, he's just hanging out the back? No way. That would suck hitting a mine like that, though. The terrain alone is... gnarly. So I see that it's kind of like marked off with like, um, engineer tape in a sense, which... I'm not sure if they had like a team that kind of came out and did that, or this is kind of what the Russians had established as like their own kind of proprietary road. But um, yeah, I'd be sketched out if there were some mines along that. Dude, is that a mine that went off like right behind them or something? No kidding. All right, so nice rifle, dude. Okay, so dismounting. Oh shit! It looks like that Humvee got hit. I'm not sure how many teams we're working with, but it seems like a pretty decent size, almost like a platoon or something. Damn, these guys have some nice kit. All right, so dismounting, getting online. It's kind of hard to see where the enemy positions are. Dude, they're already fragging. They're that close. Oh, so they even bypassed the um, positions a little bit. Into the entrance! Okay, word. Dude. Okay, so he's doing a good job trying to like get them to um, make entry into their positions. They're doing a good job also kind of hitting them with frags so they can exploit that. 
Rock the Trench! Dude, that's crazy. This guy right here had no idea that this dude was just popping around the corner. And this dude looks like a piece of work. Like, no helmet or anything, just like, hmm. Did he not see, like, the Humvees and stuff? He's just popping out like that? Oh, my gosh. How did he not get smoked right there? Dude, that's like 10 feet in front of him. Massey's right there! He's right fucking there! Dude, that guy has no idea. He's literally right over that berm. Like, literally just drop a grenade over the other side. I would be, like, freaking... In the fucking trench, boys. Backing up a bit. Oh, snap. Dude, he's just popping shots off. And they... Oh my gosh, and they don't see it either. I mean, obviously you don't want to be like popping up and stuff because you don't know where they are inside the trench. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna frag it, I'm gonna frag it. <laughs> These trenches are gnarly, dude. They're so shallow and like... Damn, those are... Stupid close. Don't frag. Weapon. Run. Dude, he's right there. That's crazy. Good, good. Good. They're doing a good job kind of like maintaining that security for like stuff like that when people just pop up out of nowhere. That's friendly, that way. Yeah. That looks like such a pain in the ass to get through. Is he dead? Oh, I guess he is now. Where's Jay? We need people here. Jeez. It's getting. I'm kind of trying to figure out where all the other teams are at in relation. To these guys, dude. This like, yeah. Someone needs to get a frag around like this area, but it's hard to tell because like their buddies look like they are right past them. At least that's where the Humvees look like they were. Oh shit, dude. Damn, I think so moving aside. quick too. That came from fucking Yuki's side. Got it. Oh, fuck. Ah, fuck a bit. What happened? Ah. Doesn't look like this is where the Humvee was. Ah. There's like logs and stuff. Fuck. I'm trying to see where he's hit. You look good, Matt. You look good. Yeah. You okay? You okay? Is he good? You're alive. You're alive. You all right? Can I change positions, please? Yep. 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 Uh, <sighs> right, uh, spread out. What? Okay. Keep spread Wait. What out. hit him? Uh, fuck. <clears throat> uh. Right. Can you get up, man? You're gonna have to get up. Yeah. Just let me let me get back there for a minute. Yeah. Holy. Dude, just trying fuck. to figure out like. Uh. Do you have any holes inside you and stuff? Jesus, cock. <sighs> Golly, no chill, too. <sighs> Wait, that drone hit him? Dude, they're like standing up and stuff. Dude, no way. Again, like, if they had, like, some freaking grenade launchers or something, just, like, start smacking this entire trench line. Kind of at least make these guys rethink what they're doing. Dude, it's... It's, like, terrifying. Just, like... Oh. oh I saw them getting down and stuff. Dude, okay. Somebody's got to, like... This is, I mean, it's tough. It's kind of hard to 
I don't know what this terrain looks like exactly, but I mean, at this point, again, you kind of have to just like f do some sort of flanking maneuver, like maybe these guys looping around, trying to go from the road is going to be a, a little bit tough, um, especially if you don't have like a bunch of grenades or grenade launchers or like AT4s to kind of hit it as you're moving up online, or at least these guys hit it. But yeah, now they're just kind of like bunched up and it looks like they're just, the Russians are just chucking a bunch of grenades at them. Which is not ideal. Fucking hell. All right, now they're kind of assaulting. Dude, okay, so Charlie Alpha Bravo, okay. <sighs> Fucking Humvee just getting stopped right there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, these guys look like they have a shitty job ahead of them. These guys don't even, I guess they're looking at the Alpha. Nice, okay. So hopefully the Alpha and Bravo team have some way to communicate so they're not like clearing into each other. These guys are. What is going on? The dude just has like no weapon or anything. He's here on the left, be careful! Alright, so this is He's Alpha. Here be careful. Where? Where? Yeah, right here on the left. Here. Yeah. Left. Get into that position! Oh, dude, he's going for it. Mussy's hit! Mud down! Mud down! Shit, dude, are you fucking serious? They frag it. Mossy, stay where you are! Is he good? You're not dead. Get Fucking hell, dude. Dude, I don't know how many grenades they have, but they need to start like chucking all of them at this fucking dude just chilling with the machine gun. Bunker! Bunker! It's so hard to like tell what they can actually see. Dude, was that dude all right? He's got no fucking quick release! Bro. I've got it, he's out, he's out! Fuck, dude. Drunk? Fuck! Yeah. Suicide drugs! <laughs> Down the fucking gas hammer! Dude, he's not letting up at all. They're coming for us, the suicide drones. We need cover. Hey, lift your, put your legs straight out. All right, Mossy. I yeah. gotta, I'm gonna molest you a little bit so I can get these fucking grenades yeah. out of you. Can you hold <laughs> that there? Oh, he got hit in the shoulder then? <sighs> Fuck, dude, I was worried. He looked like he was down, down. All right, one. What the hell kind of grenade is that? I've never seen that. Can you get my belt up there? Your belt? Yeah. Yeah. No, my actual fucking belt kit, bro. Your belt kit's off you, buddy. You cover me! Huh. Dude, once they're getting hit by the kamikaze drones and shit. Now they're Holy really fuck. getting pressured to move. Oh, dude, there you go. That was a good throw. Again, it's insane how there's always like drone coverage to kind of give us the aerial perspective. Fuck. Yep. Careful, mate. At least these guys got some overhead now. Yeah. So I know Bravo and Alpha were kind of clearing towards each other. Okay. What's that? What that? I don't know. He just. Fuck me. The you all right, Tennessee? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, I guess. Fucking hell. I wouldn't go in, there's still a dud. It's too dangerous, I don't want you fucking get fried. Oh shit, they threw a grenade and didn't go off then? Yeah, that's. Damn, that's shitty. 
They can't even like uh, really clear it out then. At least without the potential of that thing freaking randomly going off. Hmm. He's taking him, he's taking him, he's taking him. Oh, this was that PKM dude that took the grenade. See if he's got a grenade. Oh, yep. Did he just hit him with the stock right there? Тут зараз дуже непростий момент, тому що між двома позиціями зараз засіли двоє відкотилися в сторону дороги. Тобто вони лежать зараз там в канаві. Двоє росіян відкотилися. Так, вони живі. І п'ятеро відкотилися звідси. Двоє лягли вдоль дороги, і троє будуть зараз розривати. Тобто в чому непроста ситуація, що по суті, що ця група, що та, яка знаходиться на тій позиції, придавити вогнем масово, вона не може. Тобто по суті це буде дружний вогонь, так. І тому тут треба було вочікувати саме тоді, коли противник з'явиться в працівній пісті, і тоді відкривати вогонь на ураження. Slide to the left or to the right. Dude. That's so nerve-wracking. Just hearing the buzzing getting louder and louder. Dude, it's moving so quick. It's so freaking small. It's like... You think like maybe you can like shoot it down, but that thing just moving so fast. What the fuck? He's like kill him. The fuck? Oh. The fuck? Yeah, I don't know how to fucking react either. I would have probably fucking tackled the dude if I didn't just waste him too. That dude is lost in the sauce. I think you guys tell me he was like a journalist. He ended up getting killed. That was bizarre. Okay. Yeah, I got him. I got him. There's one more. I have two. Dude, this guy's literally just in like little craters and stuff now. Yeah, I wonder if they have any more grenades. Just start softening up that area. What is this dude wearing with his blue shirt? Oh my gosh, what was that? Was that a grenade throw? If it was, that was a good throw. Oh, what happened to him? So I wonder if they're communicating with the Charlie guy. Okay, so Charlie did kind of move now. Hmm. Yeah, now it's going to be tricky. Але для нас важливо зараз подивитись покадрово, що саме відбулося, щоб звернути вашу увагу на дуже важливі деталі. 
Frame by frame. Сказати про те, що не потрапило в об'єктиви камер бійців та операторів дрону. Штурм висоти 105-106 okay, почався word. з раптової атаки на бронеавтомобілі. Штурмові групи під прикриттям кулеметників у баштах на великій Yeah, they pushed pretty far past those positions. на російські позиції. В кадрі англійська мова, штурмові групи Альфа і Альфа. I'm just going to leave the subtitles there. Sorry. добровольців. Американці, канадці, швед, японець. Really? Штурмова група Чарлі. Sound like there's a Brit there. З українських бійців. Другий Хамві в колонії підривається. На жаль, розмінувати все підривними зарядами артилерією під час артпідготовки не вдалося. Okay, so there was like crap. Щастя, під час цього вибуху екіпаж не постраждав. Хамві nice. дуже надійна машина. Штурмовики були I didn't think the Humvees were that good, but they've been surprising me with this war. Можливий підрив на міні. Тому, незважаючи на все це, в високому темпі групи якомога швидше не залишаються на відкритій місцевості і заходять в самі траншеї. Hmm. Посадка, як ми бачимо, повністю зрізана вогнем української артилерії. І yeah, for real. Штурмовики закидують російські окопи гранатами. Групи Альфа і групи Чарлі yeah, so that was a good execution as far as like the dismount and then softening with frags. Сконцентруватись і розбити спроти всередини. Це просто вау момент. Російський піхотинець буквально з кількох метрів відстрибує за повороту траншеї, відкриває вогонь по нашому штурмовику. Він намагався не дати групі Альфа зайти в траншею з флангу. В бій вступає російський кулеметник. Він веде вогонь з кулемета і по групі Альфа, і по групі Браво, знаходячись... It's so crazy, like, on the ground, like, you have this dude who's, like, right off to the side, and nobody's looking that, in that direction, so... Yeah, potentially, if the guy gets a little bit high enough, and nobody's looking at him, then he can start firing on, like, that entire team's side, so it's a good thing. But, yeah, it's kind of crazy how the drones kind of... Give you that perspective because you can't necessarily see it on the ground with the GoPros and whatnot. Ми бачимо, що його вогонь по самолійські є неприцільним. Самолій style of shooting. That's funny. Браво вривається також. That's funny as fuck. Траншеї також заходить в траншеї і група Альфа. Група Браво просувається на зустріч Альфі і ліквідовує російських піхотинців. В кадрі російський ФПВ-дрон Камікадзе намагається вразити штурмовиків, але наші бійці they... вже зайшли в траншеї, hit anybody or cause any casualties. Це момент поранення okay. одного з штурмовиків групи Браво. Ми бачимо воїн із Канади, отримав поранення від близького вибуху, на нього впала колода, він отримав серйозне поранення ніг. Huh. На щастя, був вчасно евакуйований, і герой повернувся із бою. Nice. Штурмова група Чарлі атакує російські yeah, позиції з іншого плану. Ми бачимо, як бійці знаходяться в дуже небезпечному становищі, на відкритому місці. Буквально yeah, yeah, exactly. 50 метрів росіяни ведуть вогонь по них з автоматів. Yeah, that's a sketchy position to be in. Especially once the Russians start chucking grenades and shit, and they're kind of out in the open. Dude, that RPG could have been so gnarly. Група Альфа і група Чарлі вриваються з флангів на російські позиції, а по центру в траншеях вже працює група Браво. Російський підрозділ розбитий на дві частини і з флангів його стискають. Що that, that dude just did like he sent a burst and he managed to hit that guy like in the shoulder or whatever. Стримати атаку групи Альфа. Ми бачимо російський кулеметник, судячи з усього, це був старший like на цій позиції. Намагається стримати штурмовиків Альфа вогнем з кулемету. Він отримав поранення ноги, очевидно, від уламка гранати. І інший російський піхотинець накладає. Oh, okay, that's what was going on. Російський кулеметник при тому продовжує вести вогонь. Just putting his back to the where these guys are. Група Альфа висувається з кута траншеї, буквально з 15 метрів російський кулеметник вразив його кулею. Наш боєць падає. Група Альфа прикриває вогнем пораненого товариша, його відтягають, надають невідкладну допомогу. So is it good? Одразу можу сказати. Nice. Okay, awesome. Активні атаки дронами проходили під час. Мені не ідеал від all, but на кілька метрів росіяни знову вдарили, але наші бійці вже в траншеї і дрон не влучив. Штурмовик групи Альфа влучає гранатою прямо в російського кулеметника, який тільки що 
вразив одного Was that dude to put a tourniquet on him when he was doing that? Пряме глучання і це були смертельні поранення російських колоб. Man, you can see him reacting to. Організований спротив на позиціях подавлений і тепер штурмовики чистять нори, куди забились в цілілі російські піхотинці. Everything's just like on fire and shit. Російський кулеметник, який був ліквідований кількома гранати одного з бійців групи Альфа. Dude, and like we always practice like throwing a grenade around corners when we're doing kind of like trenches and stuff in, in the infantry and of course it'd be great if you had like all the frags in the world but it just goes to show like if you didn't have a grenade and you couldn't get a grenade around each corner how detrimental it can be for an assault i mean just like that one dude who happened to pop out and was instantly hit by the machine gunner it's like you have stuff like that you have to contend with if you don't have like those grenades to to hit around every single corner and especially it helps if you have like other things like Grenade launchers, we kind of saw that early on in the Ukraine war where they had the um, grenade launchers mounted on the a their AKs and they were kind of getting out of the trench a little bit and firing into that kind of dead space or the, the, the trenches that they were still trying to assault. So that was kind of a solution that they had, you know, kind of using the grenade launcher. But yeah, there's a few things that you can try and do just to kind of help soften up, you know, the, the area or the trenches that you're trying to go to. But of course, it's always... It's not ideal. It's kind of just using your initiative. Це був небезпечний противник. У нього навколо кілька відстріляних труб від гранатомета і кілька стрічок від кулемета. Він бився до кінця. Фінальний етап бою. Російські позиції захоплені, але кілька російських піхотинців. I'm curious why they're wearing like a blue shirt. У Чарлі зараз затиснуті вогнем на відкритій місцевості між Чарлі і Браво. Because even if like the infantry can't necessarily see like your shirt, maybe just like your head, those drones, just like the, the blue stands out so much to them. Wild. А другий біжить і видно, що в нього в руках немає ніякої зброї, і американці по ньому не стріляють. Росіянин застрибує траншею і раптом чує, що він військовий. Like ran away at that point, just like surrender, dude. Замість того, щоб підняти руку, definitely don't go to like the gauntlet where you're in between these groups. Вертається на свої позиції до своєї зброї у відкритій місцевості. Ну що ж, він сам обрав свою долю. А я хочу звернути увагу, що штурмовики були налаштовані взяти його в полон і по беззбройним не стріляли. Отже, втрати росіян після загального підрахунку. 22 російських солдати були знищені на цій позиції, двоє здались у полон. Втрати українців. Двоє бійців розвідроти отримали важкі поранення, знищений один бронеавтомобіль Хамві. Yeah, at least no one was killed. That's good to hear. Nice. Good shit. Oh, it's like a little bit like a little bit like a little Росіяни насправді дуже добре підготувалися. Дві позиції підтримували одна одну вогнем. Не розгубилася. На кожній позиції були піхотинці, які вели вогонь в притул по штурмовиках. Ситуація була насправді дуже і дуже небезпечна. I mean, just having like the trenches, having like the bunkers and whatnot, but also just like the kind of weird shapes. It looks like it doesn't have like a whole lot of logic to it, but that definitely helps, especially from like the defense position or perspective if you're trying to defend something and you kind of understand the layout it puts you at a much better advantage to these guys who are trying to i mean the drones do help to kind of do some recon but once you actually get there and these you know these trenches have like all these crazy shapes all these turns and stuff again that's when you kind of really need to take it slow and start utilizing what you have at your advantage to to be a little bit more successful at least in just getting getting around like certain corners and hitting certain bunkers Російська артилерія міномети швидко відкрили вогонь. Також прицільно діяли дрони камікадзе. Я не знаю, де вони плануванню підготовці, високому бойовому духу бійців штурмових груп дуже швидко вдалося зайти на позиції, нав'язати противнику ближній бій і швидко знищити росіян. 
Хочу висловити щиру повагу та захоплення хм. діями усіх бійців штурмових груп. Американці, українці, канадійці, всіх національностей воїни діяли як один організм. Yeah, I mean the, the violence of action, the communication was solid for these guys, for an international force. It's kind of cool to see how well they can communicate. Висока мотивація і чітке розуміння своїх дій дозволили вирвати перемогу у цьому насправді дуже важкому бою. Hmm. Те, що дуже легко і красиво виглядає з коптера, те, що дуже просто exactly, yeah. з GoPro, насправді це результат дуже серйозної підготовки, планування well дуже високих моральних якостей бійців. It's so easy to like try and... воїнам розвідроти 59-ї мотопіхотної бригади. Nice, hell yeah. Yeah, it's easy to try and critique all the tactics and stuff, but you can tell like there's a lot of preparation in just the, the planning and the execution. And like you were saying, the personal actions, like people are trying to use the initiative to find a job whenever they're actually on the ground. And that's, that's a very difficult thing to kind of replace. It either goes off of experience or just kind of a lot of training and being able to kind of understand what needs to be done once you actually get on the ground and on the objective. Yeah, definitely an interesting video. It's always really cool to kind of see these international forces, seeing people from these different militaries or with these different military backgrounds kind of coming together and kind of seeing how their tactics meld together and also seeing how they use the equipment that isn't organic to kind of what they were used to or kind of like using the U Ukrainians equipments, kind of using all those grenades, using like the um, the launchers and stuff. So, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's on them to do that training to make sure that they're comfortable with these weapons. And it seems like they definitely did that. They're kind of using everything pretty effectively. But yeah, it's it's always interesting to kind of see how there's different perspectives and experiences come together, like on the ground, as far as them making those quick decisions on how to assault something, how to move forward, how to communicate with somebody else to try and see if maybe another team has like a, kind of like a different perspective or kind of the advantage. And it's kind of cool to see them hitting like multiple objectives kind of at the same time. It was kind of one unit and you can tell that they were kind of communicating and stuff, but it is kind of cool to see all that come together and kind of see it go from the beginning of the mission with the inserts all the way to the end where it kind of got a little bit sketchy as far as like the, the crossfire, but it seemed like they handled that pretty well as far as um, being able to engage those guys. And you can tell it worked because you, know, you had these guys who were in the center trying to run away from that Charlie team and they're moving back to the Bravo and Alpha team. So super interesting stuff to see. And again, it's always cool to kind of compare like an international force with this like organic Ukrainian unit to kind of see what differences we're seeing in, in the tactics and of course the, the equipment as well. But of course, if you guys have anything to recommend, definitely send it my way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel and sending this my way so we can do these reactions to this stuff. Um, and again, kind of spread some awareness. This was like, um, I think this was actually recorded in August. So it's a little bit of an older video, but again, it is kind of, that's kind of what we've been seeing. Sometimes it takes a little bit for this, for this stuff to get processed and us to get a little bit more context and how he's actually kind of talking about it and providing that context is super helpful. So we can kind of, again, spread a little bit more information, but thank you guys for watching. That is it for this video. I'll see y'all in the next one.